American ISIS fighter says where on Islam has made U.S. more vulnerable to attack in video message to Donald Trump. ISIS has claimed Donald Trump's war against Islam is making the U.S. more vulnerable to terror attacks while calling for further atrocities. In a propaganda video released on Wednesday, an African-American ISIS fighter using the war name Abbasali al-Amraki delivered a message to the president. You entered into the White House on the back of your crusader rhetoric which the fake media has pressured you to tone down, he said. Your feelings and hatred towards Islam has already been revealed. You are now witnessing your fake victory. Your war against Islam has only made your homeland more vulnerable and your society is cracking into chaos. The American ISIS fighter, whose true identity was not immediately known, was shown attaching a prosthetic leg and walking on crutches amid the ruins of buildings that appear to have been hit by airstrikes. Wearing battle fatigues and carrying a pistol, he repeated calls for ISIS supporters to rise and strike the Kafar disbelievers and claimed the ISIS flag would be raised over the White House. The propaganda message suggested that rising Islamophobia and terror attacks in the U.S. could help drive supporters to ISIS's cause, with the fighter saying, take advantage of the fact you can easily obtain a rifle or a pistol in America and spray the Kafar with bullets so that their fear of Muslims rises, and they continue to reveal their hatred towards Islam for the Yama community to rise. ISIS has continually sought to exploit political tensions across the West to fuel its narrative of the holy war between its supporters and anyone, including Muslims, who oppose its brutal interpretation of Sharia law. The group's message to Mr. Trump came as activists told the independent American Muslims were more vulnerable to Islamophobia under Mr. Trump's presidency than in the wake of the 9-11 attacks. It is not just Americans Muslims who feel anxious, said Ibrahim Hooper a founder of the Council on American-Islamic Relations. We have seen white supremacists emboldened under Trump. Experts have warned of the danger of reciprocal radicalization, where Islamists and far-right extremists feed off each other to boost their own popularity. The president has been heavily criticized for what critics labeled a Muslim ban on travel from selected countries, as well as his wider remarks on Islam, an alleged failure to confront white supremacism. ISIS's latest video, released via its main propaganda channels, incorporated footage of the aftermath of terror attacks including those in Las Vegas and Orlando, which were both claimed by the group. ISIS also claimed responsibility for a vehicle attack that killed eight people in Manhattan on Halloween, but remained silent over a failed suicide bombing in New York's subway system earlier this month. Investigators said the suspect, Akadullah, had been radicalized by materials including ISIS propaganda from 2014 onwards and had watched a video instructing supporters unable to travel to the group as territories to carry out attacks at home. Shortly before the blast on the 11th of December, he posted a statement on Facebook reading Trump you failed to protect your nation, as well as a declaration that the attack was carried out in the name of ISIS. As the terrorist group as self-declared states in Syria and Iraq has dwindled, it has been increasing its calls for attacks around the world, issuing detailed guidance on how to obtain firearms, make bombs or use knives and vehicles to inflict mass casualties. Another propaganda video released by ISIS's affiliate in Somalia on Christmas Day, incited attacks on New Year's Eve celebrations, Christmas markets, bars and the Pope. It also featured an English-speaking ISIS militant, who called on the brothers who live among the Kafar to commit atrocities until the group's black banner rises from Washington to Moscow, from Europe to China. British security services have warned that the risk of ISIS-inspired terror attacks continues to grow and evolve despite the group's huge territorial losses, with a battle of ideas far from won. Military officials say the group's remaining fighters are regrouping in the desert border between Syria and Iraq, parts of Afghanistan, Egypt and Libya. On Wednesday, U.S. Central Command said there had been a series of raids targeting cave networks used by ISIS militants in Syria's Hamid Desert. 